Hey guys, welcome back. So a few weeks ago, I was invited over to 343 Industries for their PAX West Community Day, along with a load of other Halo YouTubers, streamers, and community members. And today, I wanna talk about why the things that I learned there should make you extremely excited for Halo Infinite. Now, I do wanna briefly touch on one thing, because since I was there posting pictures of me at 343, I must have had hundreds of comments and tweets and messages, all saying pretty much the exact same thing. Oh my god, who's played Halo Infinite? Well, I can confirm right here, right now, that I did not play Halo Infinite, nor did anybody else who was invited. That said, I was able to have in-depth conversations with several high-ranking members of the Infinite team. Not about like any specific aspect or feature of the game, but more their general approach with it and the lessons that they've learned from previous games. Today, I want to share with you what I can from conversations that I had with two people in particular who have very, very important roles in Infinite's development. The first of these guys is Chris Lee, the studio head for Halo Infinite. Somebody who I've had a few chats with before who has been making the rounds recently in gaming news for a very specific reason. And the second is Nicolas Bouvier, also known as Sparth, Halo Infinite's art director. So firstly, I want to touch on what Chris had to say. So from my talk with him, a few things really stood out to me that had me excited. The first was honestly just how genuinely excited he was for the game. I just finished a three-year psychology degree, so I feel like I'm maybe better than average at knowing when somebody's faking it, and let me tell you, Chris definitely was not faking it. When the lead dev for the game is as genuinely excited about it as he was, I find it hard to not get excited myself, because it means they must have something that they believe is genuinely good and something that the fans genuinely want cooking. But let me give you some context to this excitement, because I know a lot of people, myself very much included, are still extremely sceptical. So one of the things that stood out to me so much was his commitment to Halo's legacy. It's no secret that over the past eight years, Halo's made some pretty major mistakes, and many people believe that the newer games have veered too far away from what made the game so popular in the first place. Now, I think that the Halo Infinite trailer did a pretty damn good job at hinting that these complaints are being addressed, but when I spoke to Chris, I made it clear how important Halo's roots are, and he seemed in full agreement. Obviously, he couldn't give anything specific away, like any details or anything, but I made a point of talking to him about some of the incredible things that, for example, Halo 3 and Halo Reach in particular did, that the gaming industry seems to have just forgotten. Things like in-game file browsers, campaign theatre modes, simple intuitive UIs that display everything that you need in a nice, concise layout, and more aspects of those games, and with each thing that I mentioned, he was in full agreement that some pretty damn amazing features pioneered by Halo games have been forgotten. With 343's renewed focus in creating a game that speaks more to what made Halo so popular in the first place, it really wouldn't shock me to see aspects of older Halo games like these make a return in some capacity. Overall, Chris's enthusiasm and his seeming agreement with me about the elements of classic Halo that the industry seems to have forgotten, given his high-ranking position for Infinite's development, has me really excited that we're gonna get a game that truly feels like a Halo game in more than just its name. There was likely a lot more that we talked about that I could share that I have since forgotten, but it was like a month ago. But as somebody who has been mostly against like a large majority of 343's choices over the years, I have genuinely big faith in Chris to do us right with Infinite, and I believe that you should too. So, let's move on to what Sparth had to say, because my oh my, has he given us a taste of something great with Infinite. So, if we flash back to Infinite's announcement, 343 stated that Halo Infinite will feature Sparth's new art style that draws significant inspiration from the most iconic and historic parts of the Halo franchise. So, from talking with Sparth, he not only seems like equally as excited as Chris about this new yet familiar direction, but also excited to add his own interpretations and his own spin on a more classic art style. 
When me and Late Night spoke to him, he mentioned that Infinite is featuring a totally new art style, but one that's clearly inspired by Halo's classic art style, and also by all of our fan feedback over the years. We also had a long conversation about all of those art style videos that we made like a year ago, and he said that he'd seen them, and with how much 343 are tuning directly into fan feedback and then using that to shape Infinite, it really wouldn't shock me at all if some of the things that we said in that video or some of the things that other people said in their videos or blog posts were directly addressed in game. He also mentioned how genuinely excited he is to see the fans' reactions to the new art style, considering how much they're listening to all forms of feedback and really building it around that, which to me is really, really exciting. So, I know this has been said before, trust me, I've heard it, but from talking to these guys and various others at 343, I can assure you all that they are listening to our complaints, and they're doing it a lot more closely than I think many people can actually realise. Of course, we're not actually going to have any hard evidence of this until the game comes out, but from talking to people, I'm really excited to see what Infinite becomes. On Twitter the other day, Marcus Leto, who is the co-creator of Halo, said that he thinks we may be on the cusp of a Halo reimagined. Now, if that comes in the form of an up-to-date, modernized version of the classic Halo experience that, once upon a time, completely reshaped the gaming industry, then I think we're in for something great. Granted, we do know next to nothing about the game, and the gameplay in particular still has me worried because I just have nightmares of it being another enhanced mobility shooter with sprint, aiming down sights, clamber, and all the other gimmicks that have been added over the past eight years. But from what little that we do know, and from what I was able to gather, we can at least be hopeful that the game will feel more like the Halo that we all know and love. So that's just about it, at least that's just about as much as I was able to remember. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about Infinite after hearing all of this. Do you feel more excited, equally as excited before, or maybe even less excited? Let me know because I'd love to hear if this video and these things change people's expectations and thoughts on the game. We know like next to nothing about the game right now, so even the smallest bit of information can completely flip someone's views. So let me know in the comments down below how you truly feel about the game. Huge thank you to all of my guys over on Patreon for the support. Ardent, Tomahawk, Evan, Momo, Shikata, Mjolnir, Matthew, Pierre, Tony, Jim, Zach, Chris, Jack Madden, Eric Brown, Sam Grafton, Bruin98, Hayden Woods, and Citadel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one.